Hi everyone, Michael from Bullion Now, bullionnow.com.au. So again, something different today. We always like to do something different. So we've um, we've had someone come in and bring a, a part of their collection in that uh, may not be quite what it seems to be. And uh, we thought we'd we'd play around with that a bit more. We'll test some of the items and see what they actually contain. Um, but it's a good uh, story about how you can make mistakes uh, buying them in in different places uh, where you think you, you possibly shouldn't. Um, and, and things like that. And I know it's 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 not a follow on from, but it's kind of a like uh, that really popular video we did about the fake versus real Perth Mint bars that um, were going around. Not in our store. Let me clarify that. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, you know, we thought we'd test a few. So um, you want to introduce yourself yeah, to them? Well, um, I call myself Eight Pesos on Silver Stacker. It's a little play on the words of the old pirate idea of pieces of eight. But basically. Um, I've only been stacking for a short time, but was a coin collector when I was a little kid. Yep. And then stamps, as you do, and like baseball cards or whatever. Yeah, okay. But um, I've sort of got back into it, especially um, mainly because of, uh, I've wanted to buy a house. Yep. And that's got me into macroeconomics, and I've come around to precious metals via that route. Oh, yeah. Sort of studying finance and how the central banks work and how money is created and things like that. <laughs> so I think I've gone back to square one, going back to precious metals. Yeah, you have. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's actually interesting. I can see some of the stuff down here. We've got a ledge below the bench here. And um, actually, let's start off with it. Um, I love these. I've got a collection myself, but you're talking about central banks and what they do. Um, I love these notes, the $10 trillion Zimbabwean note. Um, just to show how far out of hand central banks can actually get with their printing. Um, and I'm certainly not suggesting that we're about to head down that line ourselves just yet. Yeah. But there's certainly history out there of... Um, well, that's not actually that? old. No, As it's you know, not. Yeah. That was from 2007, yeah, so unfortunately. 13 so, years ago. So we haven't learned a thing. No. <laughs> um, and I've got a, a good friend of mine, he's actually Zimbabwean, he's a financial advisor that I want to get to interview one day. And he lived through this, yeah, and wow. some of the stories he's got are absolutely fascinating. So, a millionaire who can't buy an egg. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he tells stories of um, having to catch the bus to work in the morning, and you'd work all day, and the amount of money that you earned for the day's work um, wouldn't pay for the bus fare home because the inflation had just yeah. increased it so much. So, um, what they were doing was they were taking their cash, their notes, and as quickly as physically possible, you'd exchange it for anything and it didn't matter what it was just something physical whether it was a an old car or or anything that would stay with the inflation you know precious metals yeah. absolutely but if, if you couldn't find gold or silver you'd you know you'd buy the old car you'd, you'd buy something that had yeah. tangibility to it because yeah. you knew that by morning i heard white goods was also popular yeah yeah, yeah. Just, just something just something, anything yeah, something anything solid. except for the paper so yeah. it was it's <laughs> It's yeah. a great story, so I, I love seeing these things kicking around. Yeah, so I, I think that's a real one, but you know, oh, it is. It's yeah, a real so, one. Um, it's just part of my collection. Where'd you get it from? Do you know? Do you um, just, just from the online site. Online site, yeah. yeah. No, it's yeah. it's a real one. It's it's yeah. fantastic. So and it's also a talking piece. So yeah, absolutely they are. Um, yeah. I've got some, and one day we'll actually hang them in here, um, a frame of of the stages that goes through because they do start off much like Australian money. You know, it's dollars, yeah. um, cents, and dollars, and then it. it you can see, uh, I think it was late 90s, it just starts to break down where the numbers just start getting ridiculous. <laughs> Adding so, zeros. <laughs> yeah, and they, they really did. So, yeah. great piece. I'm glad you brought that one in. I saw show you my very first purchase off another online site. So, uh, grains. This is a very interesting one. I thought I was buying grams of gold, and I priced it for grams. And to my ignorance... Uh, a grain is a very different measurement. <laughs> so, um, I haven't tested this. I think it's real, and it kind of doesn't matter, but um, the, the main point is I overpaid for this, and I almost paid for 20 of them wow. at a terrible price. So yeah, I'm trying to remember how many grains. We might put in the link below, but... I think it works out the same sort of 31, 32. You know, yeah. Like the sort of the... The grams to grains. Yeah, yeah. and the, yeah, the, the uh, grams to kilo, the ounces to kilos. It's all around that sort of third sort of... Yeah. Roughly like if you're doing maths in your head. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. And yeah. so they, they put in a really nice high resolution photo on the internet for you. <laughs> so it looks about this big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's test it and see what it actually is. Sorry, Rubes, I probably should have spun that around your way, shouldn't I? 
It is four nines gold. Okay. So you didn't get completely done over with this one. Yeah. <laughs> Just possibly overpaid slightly for it. Yeah. But that's all right. Yeah, so... Um, that actually set me back a few years. Yeah. Just, you know, just got real disappointed. And I'd actually done the research before I bought it, and I still made the mistake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, we'll do, we, we all have stories we'll like that, that, mate. Let's line them all up. Yeah. So, um, since I made that mistake, I bought this on purpose just to have, hold and feel like what a, I knew it was a fake before I bought it. So oh, okay. I paid a dollar for it. But oh, that's not so bad. When yeah. you know it's okay. Yeah. And I just wanted to have it as a prop to, to help family and friends and conversation, other people trying to get into collecting or stacking. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can tell, as soon as you pick it up, you can tell Yeah. It, it's not real because of the thickness of it. 10, 10 grams of gold is not is not that thick. Yeah. So I'll almost guarantee I'll be surprised if it's not copper inside. But let's have a let's have a look and see what it actually is. And it also makes um, it more tangible when you can show a real example than flicking through a website. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you can see there it does have gold in it. Oh yeah, cladding. <laughs> so you've got there. I don't know if the camera can see it. Um, so seventy-seven ounces of sorry, seventy-seven percent copper. Um, 22% zinc, 0.2% gold, tiniest little bit of nickel and a little, little, little bit of palladium in it. Yeah. So I guess that's a good example of some of the websites that I've looked at where they'll talk about cladding or plating or yeah. EPN or yeah, well, lots of little acronyms and names for stuff which has some gold in it yeah. and that's all they have to tell you. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's right. I, I remember several years ago looking at online and seeing all these, you know, four nine gold mm. plated, mm. gold electrolyted or something like that. They yeah, called it as well. Yeah, I'm that's, thinking that's man, lots of new it's, names for it. It's isn't no it? wonder people get confused. It's it's terrible. So, well, at least you knew it was fake when you bought it. It's yeah. um, what stresses me is we quite often get people that come in. They've bought it, you know, for just shy of ten grams gold price, yeah. and they bring it in here to sell to us, and we go look. <laughs> Sorry, but um, it's a, it's a no-go. Yeah. So. One, one thing I do know, like as I've been collecting, is the artistry on genuine items is amazing. Mm. So that one, the artistry is horrible. Yeah. So um, until you've got a bit of an eye, it takes a while. Yeah, so on the beach in the Philippines... Oh, that's got to be a safe place to buy things. On yeah. the beach in the Philippines. A, a guy you know, gave me this sub story about his children and how he not, almost died free diving for this stuff. Off a shipwreck, <laughs> and my friend said, "Hey, he's a collector." You know, and I had terrible internet, and I was also quite immature in my knowledge of, of stacking and stuff like that. So I bought these uh, for very you know, a little bit over spot. A little bit over <laughs> Let, spot. Let's say that silver spot, <laughs> silver spot, or copper yes. spot. <laughs> I don't know what copper spot. Is. <laughs> it's a lot less than silver yeah. spot. Let me tell you. So I I felt like. I was um, getting ripped off, but I did it anyway. I think <laughs> it's something so you, quite common, isn't it? Yeah, you know, like, so your whole body's screaming at you that it's not a great idea. Yeah. So I hate to break it to you. It does have silver in it. Yeah. You can see there it's 55% copper, 36% zinc, a little bit of nickel, a little bit of palladium again. Um, it's not palladium, PB. What's PB? Lead. Lead, yeah. thank you. <laughs> You think I'd know that by now? How long have I been running these things? A um, little bit of silver and SN is tin. So, yeah, yeah. tin in it. So, so, one of the things to add to the story is if you look up these dates, they're very significant key dates that sort of run into the tens of thousands. So, yeah, okay. the story is fantastic when you're on the beach. You know, you can get very excited <laughs> just quickly looking up a you know, internet site. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, they look like they're all the same. Yeah. So, they've all been produced. And look, People, we'll, we'll just start getting comments on this. We'll find that people say, oh, you know, it's terrible, they're produced and all that sort of stuff. Quite often these are, are sold initially, the first time around. They're actually sold as replicas. Yeah, or medallions. Yeah, or medallions yeah. and that type of thing. Um, yeah, they're, all, <laughs> they're all copper, yeah. mate. Um, but it's it's what happens in the next stage. So yeah. somebody will buy them and then they'll they'll do what you found on the beach, you know. Yeah. Bit of a sob story or they'll put them on nowadays. You find less of that. You find more of them appearing on, you know, marketplace type websites and things like that, where they people can't be so easily traced. There was a case a little while ago of somebody selling them out of Ballarat via um, one of the 
online. I'm trying not to name it, but one of the online portals. Yeah. Um, and we they didn't live in Ballarat, but they were saying they did, and they were commuting up to Ballarat, yeah. and then you know doing all the transactions up there, and then disappearing back, so they couldn't be traced. And eventually, yeah. the police um, caught up with them. Unfortunately, it, it works. It does absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely you works. should see the number that we get through here. Yeah, um, it's yeah. it's stag- it goes in phases, but it always staggers me when we get them in. Yeah. As, as to the number. So, so while we had these out, one thing I knew about, but I did a bit more research on it since I bought them is this always the observers ob- obverse and obverse, reverse of the yep. coin. But there's also another edge, this yeah. reeded edge, and quite um, different. Um, Mints will make them in a different way. Yeah. Some will put words in there. Some will put just um, uh, the cut the, the reeds in there or crisscrosses. Yeah. But um, it's actually quite difficult to do in a fake. So if you get a better eye at it, you can actually see if it's if it's not done properly. Mm. One of the advantages of um, why they came in is to stop clipping of coins. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So that that's one of the origins of it. Um, and also, if, uh, if as it wears down in people's pocket when silver you know, was in, in, in general currency. Mm. Um, yes, and also, if it's plated, it'll start wearing through. Yeah. <laughs> especially on the reader edge. So that's something that you can use to, as you're learning, you know, especially if you're sort of noodling through coin shops and, um, mm. and markets and things like that. Yes, yeah, so that's something that, um, as, as you'll get an eye for, you'll get better at looking at. And well, the other thing that a lot of people do is yeah, the ring test. Yeah, and it, I'm a musician, but it took me a while to differentiate because it's quite different. I've seen professional guys not be able to pick them on. Yes, yeah. I got to say, I've a little bit too much jet turbine time in my ears, and um, my hearing's not as great. I can't pick it anymore. I, I won't use that as a as a test anymore. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's it's hard work that one. Getting, yeah, getting the exact. Yeah, so, and yeah, I was, I was going to show you a few other things with testing, and I found that nothing is spot on except, I guess, for an XRF. I Cause, wouldn't leave home without our XRF, mate. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, love it. <laughs> yeah. So, I just actually thought of this last night, but I just, I've got a couple of these neodymium magnets, and this is just a regular cable um, thread tie, mm-hmm. and I'll just keep it on the keys. So, this is also. A reasonable but not perfect test. Yeah. So that's it's a tiny one. Because there's not actually that many currencies that are magnetic anyway. But they'll 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 use that sort of idea to show you, oh look, it's not magnetic, you know. Mm. It's obviously real. And that's you know sort of quite reasonable sort of test test. <laughs> If you think you, you're testing it for the right thing, mm. so that also is not a hundred percent accurate, but at least tell you that you're not picking up steel. Yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> it, it's one test, but it's not the test. Yeah, I still they're incredibly expensive, and I'm not suggesting anyone buys them, but I still wouldn't go anywhere without RXRF. It's, yeah, so um, I guess it goes to the point of finding a dealer that you trust. A dealer that you trust, and I strongly suggest even if you trust them, if they don't have one of these, I'd want to know why they don't have it and why they're not using it. Yeah. I would take a lot of convincing, particularly for a dealer, to explain why they don't have one of those in yeah. stock. <laughs> what okay. else have we got? This, this next one is not a fake, I don't think. I think it's just a pure mistake. So this is a 1947 Australian shilling, and from my research... They stopped putting silver in it in 1946. Didn't stop putting silver in Yeah, okay. We'll do the Let's test, test on it, it. Yeah. We'll test it. You got it? I'll turn it over if you like. But that's another one where I kind of... Late night, online shopping <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, the number of people that have bought things late at night and paid too much for them or got what, not what they expected. All right. Let's run it through the test. She's all copper. Uh, it's got a trace element of gold there, but that'll be something either on the... That's because of my fingers. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It'll be, it's just been picked up from somewhere else. So, yeah. yeah so, so, yeah. No, you're that right. one, I ripped myself off, I guess. Yeah. You know, and I didn't get... I paid for you know, what I was willing to pay. Yeah. yeah but, no, 
that's right. Yeah. So that's all part of my sort of growing as a as a collector and a stacker. Yep. Now this one I'm actually very happy with. This is um, a twenty Balboa um, <laughs> Panama coin. Yeah. Now this one also has uh, a story to tell in caution mm. because it's sold as a two thousand grain. Oh really? Yes. Um, if you look at the certificate of uh, authenticity, uh, wherever I put it, so it is marketed as two thousand grain. Two thousand so, grains of sterling silver. Yeah. Yeah. So two points to consider there is the idea of grains. Yeah. And the idea of sterling. Yeah, that's which right. Is ninety two point five. Yeah. So, if you were to sell that, discard the numismatic value if it had any. Mm. Um, you'd have to also minus seven seven point five yeah, percent. Yeah, seven and a half percent. Yeah, because it's not nine 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 silver. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, a lot of these aren't these types of things. We'll test them. Yeah, so but I knew that, so yeah. Um, yeah, I bought it for that reason because I like the size of it. Yeah, well, they're certainly pretty chunky, aren't they? Yeah, so it's coming through at about ninety two percent, which is what you'd expect. Yeah. So, I guess. There's some comparison with an Australian 50 cent coin. <laughs> what do you reckon this is going to test out at? Isn't it nickel? Yeah, it's Cooper nickel. Yeah. A copper nickel. Uh, can't see through the um, oh, yeah. <laughs> the plastic it's having trouble with, so that's all. It's that's refracting fine. it. Yeah, so. So, so, I actually didn't buy this on its own. I bought it as a group of items. Oh, yeah. So, I paid almost 90% over spot for this item. You paid 90% over spot. Yeah, but I, I, got, I got all these because I really wanted that. So I guess, if it, is it a mistake or is it like uh, I wanted it? That's, it's debatable. Look, but. There's, there's always this argument about are you overpaying or are you, you know, the comment I made the other day was, you know, that's the equivalent of, of valuing the Mona Lisa at, um, you know, a bit of canvas and paint. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. there's there's far more. It, it's far more complicated than just have I overpaid? Have yeah. you overpaid for it in silver content? Absolutely, you have. Mm. Have you overpaid for it in collector value and enjoyment that you've got out of it? Yeah, no, I, I, that's a separate argument. I don't believe so. And particularly with these in here. So these are original mint rolls, mm. um, and they're in very good condition, actually. Um, I believe they're sort of going on the thirty year old or something. Like that. Yeah, yeah, no, they no, will be no, absolutely because. That we haven't seen them since. Yeah, no, these are kid. these are from the seventies. These ones. Yeah. Um, so these are these are quite valuable in and of themselves. So I would mm. say you'd reclaim a lot of your value just in in those two. Yeah. Um, they're quite good. These not so much. They're only worth a few dollars, sort of thing. But definitely they they are worth it. Yeah. Um, this one I actually don't even know what it is. It's um Dutch coins. Ah. Yeah. And I I knew what they were. But I bought the whole package <laughs> mainly just to win yeah, that item. For that. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not upset at all about it. Yeah, my Dutch is not good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think one of the words in there says it's actually nickel anyway. Yeah. I was I, able to translate one of them. Yeah, okay. Oh, we yeah. can test them, eh? It's no big deal. And the other item, which is 100% a fake, but it's actually, they say it's a medallion, is this Princess Diana. Yeah. And for the novice... They conveniently put on the same motif as the sovereign. Huh. So if you start learning a very little bit, you can get yourself in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see what it's made of. Yeah. Copper zinc with a little bit of nickel. Right, let's have a squeeze at these ones because these ones have got me curious. Pure nickel. And that one's copper zinc with a bit of nickel. Hmm. There you go. Yeah, so hopefully that will help some people sort of you know, look past you know some of the like the obvious or well, not so obvious counterfeits, but um, 
yeah, yeah. just the, the, the learning curve that I've been on anyway, yeah. the learning journey. And look, there, there's, there's a lot of that. There's the blatant copies like, you know, this, this type of thing or the, the Perth Mints that we highlighted in that other video that time. Um, and it's not, they don't just copy Perth Mints. Um, all the major mints, a lot of the older coins and that sort of stuff, you will be able to find replicas of that are being sold as, um, as genuine items and they're not. Um, so it's, it, it is, it's, it's that, that obvious stuff like that, but it's also down to, you know, American coins. You key know? date coins. Key date coins. Um, <laughs> you know, like hiding grains and grams and things like that. So yeah. there's very much, there's a lot of ways to be parted with your hard-earned money. Yeah. Um, and it's not, it's not, not good quite often. Um, it can be our own mistakes or it can be, you know, we're being led to believe certain things. Um, but it just goes to show at the end of the day, whether you're dealing in coins or notes or cars or, or bullion, find a dealer that you trust that is open with you about what they what's there is willing to stand behind what they sell. Mm. Um, and is quite happy to test and to prove, um, you know, whether it be an XRF or anything along those sort of lines and, and stand behind it. If this fails any tests, you bring it straight back and we refund your money. And that's that's actually what you want. So, excellent, awesome, fascinating. Thank you for bringing that in to share with yeah, us. That's um, that's that's really good. Um, so you're a Silver Stackers member. We'll do a plug for Silver Stackers. Yeah, I, am. I will basically on uh, on the uh, Bully Now's recommendation. Oh, good. Of, yeah. <laughs> so um, I hadn't heard about it before then. Yep. So yeah, just been watching uh, you you. Uh, playlists of our uh, YouTube videos yeah. and it got me onto it. Yeah. yeah. So. so, have you found it helpful? Um, I'm actually more sort of I'm watching and watching videos a lot. Yeah, so, okay. yeah, but I, I do get onto the forums and I have been looking at your auctions. Yeah. But yeah, over time, I'm sure I'll be yeah. you know sort of uh, enticed. Yeah. Look, look it's more. it's it's a good forum. Um, just to clarify, we have no ownership or anything like that. We do sponsor the site, um, but. You know, I've got no affiliation with it other than we sponsor the site. Um, but it's 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 a really good forum. Um, there's a lot of really genuine people on there. Um, it, it's, it's still an online forum. You're still going to get the rat bags on there. But um, it's there's some really good, solid information on there. Yeah. Um, and we do, we encourage people, particularly people who are learning like right back at the start of their journey, mm. go on there and, and read some of the comments on there and, yeah. and ask some questions. And you'll get some really good feedback. So... There's a plug for silverstackers.com. If you're not a member, um, I strongly suggest that you do become a member of it. And, and it's free. It. And it's free, you know. And so you can't beat that price. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. And it's good stuff. So, and you're a muso as well. Yeah. So well, Tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> um, I've been a uh, musician since I was a teenager. Yep. But over the years, I've been in cover bands and original bands and toured a little bit. Like, I haven't been in any, anyone famous, but... We've had some good times along the way, and um, I'm a bit of an instrument collector as well. Yep. So it sort of ties in with um, my idea of value. Yeah. And, yeah. So as you, you know, there's some fine instruments out there, mm. and if you look at sort of you know the idea of what's happening in, in um, economics, some say it's like um, fine artworks yeah. you know, that that hold their value. Yeah. Especially when fiat money starts disappearing. So, some of my <laughs> instruments, yeah, you can yeah. consider some of my musical instruments as, you know, fine art. Yeah, yeah absolutely. To a musician's eye, anyway. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks for that. Thanks for coming in and sharing and telling us your tales of yeah, pleasure. fun and, and woe. And, um, yeah. My, yeah, my mistakes slash fakes. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's probably what we should call it. <laughs> All right, that's it for now. Um, thanks for tuning in on that one. I hope you um, you got some entertainment out of it and you learned something from it. Um, it gave you a bit of uh, a bit of a cautionary tale, but also a bit of confidence to step forward and actually start investing in these things while doing your proper research, background research. All right, that's it for now. Like, share, subscribe, all those good things, and we'll talk again soon. See ya.